Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I don't, I don't have much to say. I don't have a speech pre prepared. I will be. Uh, I just wanted to say just a couple of things. That is fascism over there. Not only that, but that is that is anti-feminist, anti-female fascism, and it is being supported by the Irish government. And most shocking of all. We all have in this country now self-ID and no one had a fucking clue it was coming in. We need to reverse self-ID. We need to get that out of the Constitution. We need a proper debate about what it means for Irish women. It is a huge fundamental change and it was never discussed. And it's not these privileged student arseholes over here who suffer from it. It's the women of Limerick Prison. It's women in shelters. It's women in rape crisis centers. So I would say, as I said to these earlier on Twitter, go home and apologize to your mothers. And in the meantime, thank you to the police for being such a good presence here today. We're taking this seriously. Thank you very much. See you soon. Of course, he didn't want that because he gets sexually aroused from going into women's spaces. I left my job the next day because nobody would support me. And a month later, he complained to the cops. And they came and arrested me and told me they were going to put cuffs on me. I'm 60 years old with three kids, right? And they interrogated me for two and a half hours. And it was very distressing. But I made no comment. And the detective at the end of it shouted at me and he said, Women have penises too. And I said, station and tried to be old pally with me and all the lights were turned off and the recording equipment was off and I said to them bring it on I said bring it on and I, and I just wanted to say to Sinn Féin who are up there in 1972 how they think of women I know I'm gonna be quick 1972 what they think of women do you remember Jean? Yes. Because, because of her maternal instincts and she was kind to an enemy soldier and she put his dying head in her lap and she said a prayer in his ear and he died in her lap. They kidnapped her and they shot her in the head. Yes. That was the military wing of those people up there. Yes. Jean McConville left 10 children without a mother who loved them. That's who they are. That's who they really are. Don't ever forget 